Hi everyone. So in this video, as you can see, it has been snowing. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to take out my crawlers and test those RCAWD cyber wheels. And they're supposed to be pretty cool. So right here we have one of my crawlers. The main issue with it, it was too light and the weight distribution was way off. So I added washers in the front to avoid it from tipping over all the time. So let's see how much it is without the washers in the front. So it's about 79 up to 80 grams in the front. While the back weighs almost exactly 10 grams more. So that means if I only adjust the weight of the cyber wheels, which is easily done by just removing a few of those inlets, so those two have all the inlets with 89 grams and in the back I will remove a few of those inlets to see how much the tires weigh afterwards. So each inlet weighs about 1 gram, 1.14 gram. So now the tires in the back weigh exactly 9 grams less, which is exactly what we need. In this case, I wanted the front and the back to weigh exactly the same, but there might be other driving styles or skills where you would want to change that. And the inlet of the cyber wheels let you change that easily. It's done in seconds. So I will use the Osa AX8560 to swap the tires and show you how it's done. Or basically I'm not changing the tires, I'm just changing the wheels. The good thing is that even though they look like fake beadlocks in the front, they are actual beadlocks, so you can take them apart. And for those wheels or tires, we will use the one inch cyber wheels. Just unscrew all the screws and then you just pop the cap off like that. And then you just simply take out the rim. So usually with the beadlocks um, the rims are sandwiched between those two rings which you then screw together and um, where the rubber is in between and held together. Which is the same with the cyber wheels, just they look much cooler. And they kind of look like a revolver. So the AX8560 already came with foam inside the tires, which I like, so just put the rims inside. And now it's kind of like preparing langoche or a tiny pizza. So that goes in there, this goes right here, and then screw everything together. I always screw in the screws opposite of each other which makes it easier to evenly cover the rubber and it looks pretty cool. So I've removed the inlets before so this is how they look without the inlets. Now I will put them back in which is quickly done. Looking good. And since I want to take out two crawlers, I will take those 1.3 inch cyber wheels for the WL Toys 2428. I will not show you the whole process because you kind of get the gist of how it's done. And they look awesome as well. And let's have a look how they look next to each other. And a bit closer. Yeah. And I've got to say, even if you never take out those inlets, those wheels look so cool. And coming up is a montage with those cyber wheels on those cool crawlers. Let's go!
cool thing about those cyber wheels and uh, I gotta give RCA WD credit for that. They don't cost much more than the usual wheels from RCA WD, but you can use them in lots of more cases and even swap them between your crawlers and just take out the inlets and you have a completely different tire. And uh, whatever the need, you just swap those inlets, put them in, put them out. So thanks to RCAWD for sending them to me. I will put the link in the description for the cyber wheels as well as a link for both of the cars. I hope you enjoyed this video so please give it a like and subscribe and thank you for watching.